जी वेवर्स मैं हूँ गैस पर डैनियल आज हम एक कॉन्फ्रेंस पे बेल्जियम आए हुए हैं फ्लैमेंस पार्लियामेंट के सामने हैं इस वक्त हम और एक जर्नलिस्ट हैं हमारे साथ उनसे बात करते हैं क्योंकि उन्होंने बहुत काम ब्लैस फमी लॉ और फोर्स कन्वर्जन पे किया है तो मैं उनकी तरफ चलता हूँ और आपसे उनसे बात करते हैं येस ब्रदर यू हैव डन अज रिसर्च ऑन ब्लैस फमी लॉ एंड फोर्स कन्वर्जन इन पाकिस्तान यू हैव रेज योर वॉइस इन यूरोपियन पार्लियामेंट कुड यू गिव मी मोर इंफॉर्मेशन on this matter well absolutely uh, i am very concerned about the decline in standards of human rights across the world not just in south asia but globally but to me it appears that pakistan is a leader in this uh, this almost an attack on basic human rights and i would really highlight the blasphemy laws as one of the worst uh, catalysts for Uh, abuses of human rights that I've seen maybe in my lifetime. Uh, I would argue that religion is being weaponized. Uh, I would argue that good people, uh, good working class people, uh, such as myself, I consider myself working class, uh, are being radicalized because they're being fed with stories of hatred. uh and danger and you know it's always the case with a dictator with an evil regime that they will find an enemy and they will try and focus their people's attention on that enemy and they will say that your problems are not the government's problems they're not the country's problems they're the problems of our enemy and in the case of Pakistan the enemy is anybody who is not a muslim the european parliament has given them gsp plus status why they have given them The law haven't changed since they were made. Well, actually, the uh, the GSP plus status it's a trading uh, preference system. Uh, it means that at the moment, roughly 80% of uh, Pakistan's imports, sorry, exports to the EU, uh, are tariff free, and so therefore the exports are growing all the time. Pakistan is making a lot of money from this GSP plus status. Actually, the European Commission. was the the ultimate uh, responsible uh, institution here the european parliament last year called for suspension of this status because of the fact that pakistan had promised so many reforms so many improvements in human rights in gender equality in labor law and it has simply not delivered in fact uh, we're seeing now that uh, according to a number of reports from various human rights organizations some sponsored by the european union we're seeing that in certain areas particularly women's rights uh, in labor rights the situation is getting worse so the parliament has called for that status to be suspended the problem we have here in brussels uh, and this is a problem that we can feel in the parliament uh, among civil society human rights campaigners and indeed journalists is that the european commission is not responding to that call i would argue that it's the duty of the european commission to listen and to actually suspend that status and let us put pressure on pakistan to make the changes that we all want to see we don't want to punish pakistan we want to see pakistan actually make those changes so that the pakistani people particularly the women and children who are the most at risk can actually enjoy the same safety privileges and indeed prosperity that the rest of the world is increasingly enjoying thank you very much on the behalf of pakistan christian community i would like to request you to always be their voice request the european parliament to release the blasphemy innocent prisoners and forced conversion should be stopped immediately absolutely this is something that it's not just me it's uh, many many journalists many human rights campaigners including some of the most prominent uh, i would mention human rights without frontiers probably the most important human rights uh, uh NGO here in in Belgium uh even yesterday they were publishing on this situation and they're pushing all the time we're all doing everything we can thank you very much and god bless you thank you do not forget to like the video subscribe btl tv and press the bell icon to receive notifications Jesus is the light of the world.